Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm just between uh, sessions. I've been really busy uh, with clients last week. So um, when I do like about four clients a day, I get super um, not wanting to talk anymore. So I don't do any videos. So apologies, I haven't done one for a while. Um, I just wanted to uh, express some thoughts I've been having about um, when I'm working with different types of clients. like. Um, different types of computers, so to speak. So my clients have, they, they come to me as a different type of computer each time. And what I've noticed is there are some computers that are very easy to work with. Um, and they uh, shift very quickly, they're very open, they can see that their, their perceptions of their thoughts uh, are not the truth. And it's very easy to work with them. And then... Um, over the years I've noticed and I can kind of see them coming there are different types of clients and I'm telling you this because um, you if you're gonna work on yourself you're gonna to have to know yourself um, again this this channel uh, that I've set up is really expressing my opinions about how I work on myself and how I work on others and um, you know this is the internal journey right so I'm kind of explaining this maybe you're listening and it's going to help you uh, understand yourself better or maybe if you work on others you know if you're that way inclined then it'll help you to understand them better so there are people use false tools to deal with things false tools are tools to help them deal with pain and, and stress in their lives so there are different types of tools um, I use me personally I have a tendency to suppress shut myself down numb myself those are my go-to tools um, there are other tools like you lying uh, denial uh, forgetting um, you know so those are the type of tools that you can use now tools are good but if you use tools all the time they're gonna harm you long term um, an example would be, you know, a spade is a good tool, but if you're carrying it around the, the whole time, it's going to be, it's going to hurt you. Or ice, let's say you numb yourself, you use ice on your arm and you numb it. But if you keep numbing yourself, you're going to burn yourself. So what I've noticed is people who numb themselves, they'll tell me, I'll say, oh, uh, how do you feel about that? And it's like numb, I don't feel anything. And then they're usually in a lot of pain physically because the numbing is no longer working. So they've been using numbing since their childhood, like early childhood, and they get to, you know, in their 20s and 30s and they're in pain everywhere. So that's an example of numbing, which is good. When would numbing be good? If you're in sport or something, you've got pain, you've got to go through it. Or, you know, at a funeral or something. But then you, you want to deal with the underlying cause afterwards. Um... Uh, suppression you know uh, I worked with a client yesterday in America and they suppressed a lot and so there's a lot of swallowing suppressing the emotions but it, it you know it can affect your throat your thyroid your lungs it over relaxes this area and that's what that's a kind of side effect of using suppression uh, shutting down is um, you know you can have problems in relationships shutting down you're gonna get depressed there's no feeling affect your dopamine and etc now when when things get into lying and denial that's a tricky client for me and you um, someone who lies to themselves usually lie to others so they're not truthful um, they blame so yeah they they are such an asshole they're such a they're 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 they're, they're. and they're they're not looking at their role in in the situation so um, what I try and do, let's say if someone goes, yeah, they're an asshole. So I go, okay, so when you think, so you have to, you don't just go, they're an asshole. You go, um, so when they don't listen to you, does that bother you? Yeah. Um, okay. What's the emotion? Oh, it makes me angry. Okay. So there's the baseline. When they don't listen to you, it makes me angry. And you know, a lot of the times it's going to be like, well, actually that's you and you don't listen to yourself. And that makes you much more angry than him not listening to you or her not listening to you. So you find the baseline. You have to look where the, the truth is. Because 
it's not that. It's not that they don't listen. That's the real painful thing. There's going to be something deeper. Remember, if it was that, it would instantly resolve itself. So, um, so lying and it could be manipulative. So I, I've got into trouble in the past with clients who, you know, tell me a story and I'm, it confuses me. I'm like, huh, that's not, that's you. I'm like trying to work out what's going on and they're lying. You know, um, I remember at a conference once I saw Cam Ewan working on people and uh, this woman was, <laughs> she was crying and, <laughs> and she was like crying and laughing at the same time. And he said, so how's your, how do you feel about that now? And she goes, oh, it's the same. And he just said, uh, okay, you're lying. Oh, I was like, whoa, you know, to sell, tell someone. So he said, you, you have a lying weakness and strengthen it. And she instantly shifted. Uh, so that was quite cool. Actually, at the same conference, there was a woman that came up to the front of the class. And he said, so what's the problem? She goes, I'm a doctor. Um, I'm a, and I have a blah, 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 neuro blah, blah, syndrome. It's a really long one, I can't remember. Uh, whenever when someone says a syndrome uh, or disorder, it means they don't know how to resolve it or they don't know what it is. So I said that. And he said, okay, so what's the sensations? How does it bother you? Well, I have this thing. And he goes, yeah, but what's the sensation? And he did get her to say, oh, there's pain. There's pain here. And he goes, so you have a pain here? She goes, no, I have da 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 And in the end, he said, I can't work with you. So she couldn't disin like separate herself from the diagnosis just to say, well, that's the name of what of this bunch of symptoms I have given to me by another doctor. Yeah, so you need to get some distance from your label and work on the symptoms. Because symptoms can be resolved instantly, but not a name given to something artificially. Yeah, um, and so that was really interesting. Um, denial, really tough to work with someone in denial. It's like they're delusional. So um, I worked with someone and I said, I think it was something like, okay, if if your pe if your kids thought you were an embar embarrassment or a massive disappointment, would that bother you? you go, oh my God, ten out of ten. And then I said, okay, let's look at it. And I went through it with him. I said, okay, it's not that. It's coming from this, this, and this. And this. So we clear that. And I said, okay, so think about this statement now. How do you feel? And he goes, oh no, no, it's it's. I I couldn't get him to see that the statement. Um, it's a tricky one to explain, but when you clear the underlying reasons, they should be able to be, see the, you know, the kids are not, or they see, well, if the kids think that, it's because that's their thing, I'm just doing my thing. So he couldn't, disin he couldn't separate himself from the reality. That, that statement was reality and there was no changing it. So he was kind of, there's delusion about, and, and you'll find that those people are, completely in delusional mode about their whole lives. I didn't explain that one very well, but um, I, I, work, I remember meeting uh, this rock star once, like super famous guy, and I could see he was right from the other side of the room bothered by me. Um, he got these kind of big crazy, crazy eyes and surrounded by yes people. And he came up to me, he goes, so what would you do? And I, I kind of just started saying, well, I would. And he goes, yeah, that's really dangerous. You shouldn't be doing that. You'd, you know, because da, 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 and he just kind of spoke at me so I couldn't speak. And I realized he was totally scared, delusional, um, didn't want to change, really frightened. And I knew that I wouldn't be getting a client out of that. So uh, the other one is forgetting. So people who use forgetting, uh, usually there's denial there as well. So not always, but they can forget so there's a painful experience, they forget it, which is good because it's not painful anymore, but you're gonna get a black spot on your brain. It's gonna be, when you use forgetting, it has an effect on your brain and your memory. And you you know, there's dementia is on the massive increase, um, you know, Alzheimer's and, um, you know, kind of memory type issues. So uh, I know a lot of people who use forgetting to, I, I just forget it, but you need to get to the bottom of it, otherwise it's gonna sit there and run on your computer and damage you. Um, and yeah, again, I know people who use forgetting and, and it's starting to show 
and but it means that they can continue doing what they're doing and they don't remember the pain so they just keep doing the same old thing and then just keep forgetting now to think that that wouldn't have an effect on dementia you know the psychology of that that needs to be looked at when we're looking at uh, memory illnesses you know is it something in their past that they don't want to remember is that having an impact on their ability to remember well i think they, that needs to be explored not just give them drugs uh, but it's complex so um yeah so what what i i'm getting at is when you're working with someone they're going to have a tendency to use one of these when i work with soldiers they have a tendency to be able to numb themselves and and uh, forget and just shut themselves down and drive forward um, when I work with soldiers that's what they do and you can understand why but in the long term that's going to cause a lot of damage yeah it needs to be cleared out and also I work with a lot of clients especially some really strong business women who are like soldiers they just keep going and if you say oh how do you feel about that they go oh Rob I don't do do emotions and they kind of do that <laughs> and I say to them that emotion isn't going elsewhere. That goes inside you. You can't run. It goes somewhere. You can't, you can't not do emotions. They're there. So when you're working with someone like that, you have to understand that that's their tendency and talk to them and find a way to uh, strengthen the, the, that tendency because it's always it's going to have a tendency to keep coming back. Yeah. So you strengthen them for their false tool and delete the effect of it. And always remember that that's going to be something you want to keep an eye on. Okay, I don't want to talk too much. I'm off to the Isle of Man tomorrow. I'm going to have two weeks in, on a beautiful uh, in the countryside. And I'll be doing videos there. Um, smash up the like button button if you if you enjoyed the, the video. I hope this helped you in, in some way. If I need to explain something more, um, I'll, I'll do that. You just ask below. And subscribe to my channel if you want to receive uh, future videos when they're coming up. Have a great day and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.